What company has completed its probable reserve studies? Which company is seeing reasonable payout on their production startup? And whose company has achieved a new production record? All this and more when we come back. Hello and welcome back to Energy Scout News and Information. I'm your host, Reb Byers. Today's segment focuses on production within the energy industry. And breaking news, Alaska's Department of Natural Resources has rejected United States super major ExxonMobil's plan to develop the Point Thompson gas field and has terminated the Point Thompson's unit leases. The DNR said in its ruling that ExxonMobil's failure to develop the field under 22 previously submitted development plans had compromised the credibility of its latest proposal. USA Superior Energy Holdings Incorporated announced the completion of its probable reserve studies for its Bateman and Benton fields. The Benton field was prepared in the last half of 2008 for a first quarter of 2009 startup with a focus on accelerated Bateman during 2008. The range of production in the Bateman field for this year is estimated between 55,000 to 65,000 of net production barrels of oil after royalties. Now let's take a further look at other news in the energy industry. Park Place Energy Corporation announced that the operator of its 8th Mile North property in Northeast British Columbia has placed the Doeg Discovery gas well on production at an initial rate of approximately 4 million cubic feet of gas per day, plus 60 barrels of liquids with no associated water. The 7-8 Discovery well was drilled in 2007 to a total depth of 1,988 meters. Park Place has a 40% working interest in the 7-8 Discovery well before payout that is subjected to a proportionate share of a 12% royalty payable to the operator. Pacific Rubialis Energy Corporation provided an update on its activities regarding the development of the crude oil reserves at its Rubialis field, as well as for the associated commercial activities on April 19th of 2008. The company achieved a new production record for the Rubialis field of 31,774 barrels of oil per day. This continues the company's ambitious march to achieve 126,000 barrels per day by the fourth quarter of 2009. It's time once again for our market numbers, but first, let's take a look at our leaders and laggards. In oil and gas, crude oil is down 94 cents to $117.13. Natural gas has also fallen down 16 cents to $10.45. And now, let's take a quick look at our people on the move. In strange news today, next time you're hungry in the middle of the night, think twice before you go into the kitchen for that midnight snack. Take a look. Without this video, it's a story hard to believe. A trapper removing an alligator from someone's kitchen. But this is no alligator tale. Just ask the homeowner, Sandy Frosty. I heard a noise from the kitchen, and it was much too loud to have been my cat. So I went to check it out. Sandy couldn't believe what she saw. Much to my surprise, a very large alligator <laughs> in my kitchen. She hid in the bedroom and called 911. What's going on? There's an alligator in my kitchen. Also a surprise to the 911 operator who answered. Are you sure it couldn't be like a, a iguana or a really large? Oh, no, 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 no. No, Sandy knew what she was looking at. This 8-foot, eight 8-inch eight alligator weighing more than 200 pounds. It's now in the hands of a trapper. But how did it end up in Sandy Frosty's house when she doesn't even have water in her East Lake Woodlands backyard? It looks like it ventured from this pond in the neighborhood where we noticed gators like to hang, and it broke into her home. Once the alligator made it through the screened-in patio, it walked in through these open glass doors and made its way through the living room, leaving these marks on the wall. 
And eventually, it stopped here, right in the kitchen. Well, what she doesn't know is that that is her new diet program her kids started her on to help her prevent those snacking urges. And that's it for today's energy headlines. Be sure to check out our website daily for up-to-date rig counts and company information. And remember, if you would like to submit your energy news, be sure to contact us at energyscout.com. Don't forget to stay tuned with us tomorrow. We will take a look at drilling within the energy industry. For Energy Scout news and information, I'm your host, Red Vibes.